Hey everybody, how's it going? Today's video is going to be just me playing with a bunch of makeup that I've already used. I've seen Allie Glines, I think, was the one who originated this video, so I'll link hers down below. This is the full face of nothing new. There's always new product launches coming out and it's hard to keep up sometimes and when I watch YouTube it makes me feel like I need to be going out and buying all this new stuff all the time. So it's fun to just sit back, reminisce on things that you already have and make sure and use those instead of feeling like you need to go out and buy all new things. So I'm really excited to get into some of the products today that I haven't used for a while and let's jump right into it. My mother-in-law is texting me. They're visiting my husband's grandma and her dog has gone insane. So I'm just hearing about all the, the craziness. She like, the dog bit my brother-in-law, like little 12 year old. It's just a mess. Okay, we're gonna go into foundation and I cannot decide what to use. I have like four right out here in front of me. I can't quite decide. Catrice HD liquid coverage. This doesn't match me at all but it's beautiful. NARS Radiant Natural Radiant Longwear. Haven't used this in forever. My Hourglass Stick Foundation or Wet n Wild Foundation. I can't decide because I love them all. And I'm not going anywhere, so I just want to play around. I want to have fun. I want to do something different. And so I don't care if it matches me or not. I think I'm going to go into the Catrice Foundation. We'll use a brush with that today. I'm just going to drop a little bit on the back of my hand and then apply it to my face and see. I know it's going to be super dark, but, you know, like I said, I'm not doing anything today, so it doesn't really matter. Chair is squeaking. There we go. Oh, it's actually, it's not too bad. Oh, no, it's dark. We'll take it down the neck. So guys, this shirt is my husband's. He was gathering this big pile of stuff and it was just falling all over the floor. And I was like, why don't we go through some of this and just get rid of some things? And so finally he starts getting rid of stuff. I see the pile and I'm like, wait, no, 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 wait. I want that. So I pulled out a bunch of stuff as he's getting rid of things. I'm picking stuff back out. And I love this shirt. It's super long and very big on me. But if I just tuck it into some light jeans, it's so cute. I was like, you can't get rid of that. I'm keeping it. Eh. This has the most beautiful finish. I wish I had a shade that matched me. When I got this one at Ulta, they only had three shades there. And this was the lightest one. And it's pretty dark, so. I'm going to have to see because then I looked online and it looked like they had 15 shades, if I remember right. So I'm going to have to check because I love it. It makes me look perfect. I'm getting out another pump and I'm just gonna kind of layer things up. Definitely do a little more on the neck. So today's Friday and I'm off of work today. And yesterday was my first day of taking clients at my new job and it went really well. I was feeling pretty confident. I definitely still have a lot of things to learn, especially just about all the different products that we have and everything, but I feel really good about it. So Zach was like really happy and he was so cute last night. He was like, let's celebrate you because you did such a good job on your first day and I'm so proud of you. And he was being so sweet. So we went out to dinner and yeah, anyway, so he just let me pick where we wanted to go for dinner. And then we got ice cream after at this little cute little ice cream shop. It was so sweet. So then... So today I have the day off and he's like, what are you going to do today? And I'm like, I don't know, just, you know, film some videos and then I'll probably go up to Christy's house, my sister, and um, hang out up there. He was like, why don't you take yourself out to lunch? He's like, it's so fun to go to restaurants by yourself. You deserve it. He's being so funny. He just wants me to be happy. He's so cute. So I might take myself out to lunch today, but I'm going to be looking real crazy in my t-shirt and crazy makeup. That looks pretty good. Definitely darker than my body, but that's okay. You know what sound this is. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer under my eyes today. Sometimes I like this one and sometimes I feel like it just wears off or like not even wears off, but like emphasizes my pores by the end of the night right here. So wow, I'm applying a lot. All right, well, 
there's that. We're going in. This is like my actual skin tone, I feel like. But you know, I thought I would take myself out to lunch, but now it's, it's like, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock this morning. And I basically, for the last like hour, sat in bed and ate a ton of high chews for breakfast. So I don't really feel like going out to eat and getting more food because I feel sick to my stomach from eating all those. And my jaw is so tired because those are like the hardest things to chew and I had like 50 million of them. Does anyone else do that? Like once you start eating something or doing something, you just like can't stop yourself. Like for me, I can't just stop. Like if there's a bag of candy in my house, I'm just happy. Like I'll eat the whole thing if I start eating any of it. It's so bad. This concealer is such a different finish from the e.l.f. one that I've been using. With the e.l.f. one, if you put it on your face and you don't blend it out immediately, it like dries down. It almost looks like you set it with powder like that. Where this one, you can like leave it on your face and it's still really creamy and blends out really easy. And leaves the face looking kind of more creamy too, if you can tell. I really like that look, but I feel like that's why by the end of the night in like this region where I have larger pores and my oils seep through a lot more, uh, that's why it tends to break up right there and emphasize my pores so much, I think. That's my guess. But I really like it. Using my same powder as always, the Maybelline Fit Me. I feel like there's no better powder from the drugstore. And I don't, I'm not at a place where I'm gonna spend, you know, $30 on a powder from Sephora. Okay, so I'm just really setting right under the eyes and then I'm lightly just gonna dust that around the other areas that have concealer on, but nothing crazy. Okay, since I don't know exactly where the eyeshadow look is going, I'm gonna wait on the rest of the face makeup and move on to the eyes and then we'll come back and do the face at the end. You know what time it is. I'm going back into the BH Opalescent Palette. I have a review on this um, from the first time I tried it out and I can link that down below if you wanna watch it. But I love this palette, I love these colors. There's so many nice things for springtime in here and they're all super, super high quality. So I've dipped into kind of some of these lighter pinks and purples. I wanna go into more of these dark shades. I swatched this one this morning. And it's really pretty. It's so nice because it's deep, but at the same time, it like has this really nice bright metallic flip to it when you shift your hand so I think that's gonna be like our main lid shade but I'm not entirely sure so we'll just kind of see where we go with all this I want to start with this shade alluring kind of a melony transition and we'll put this in the high crease area as normal oh yeah I was talking about candy so I feel like I and that way in life. Like, I'm all or nothing with anything. I was thinking about it this morning, like when I go shopping, just like for fun, I like will walk around forever to different stores and I won't pick up anything to try on at all, but then I'll find one thing to try on and I'm like, well, if I'm trying on one thing, I might as well try on a million. So then I end up with like 50 things to try on and it's so much more difficult than if I had just tried on one thing, you know, it's so dumb. But I'm like that a lot. I wonder if it's sort of a perfectionist quality too, because like, I don't wanna start something if I, well, I don't know. It's like, I don't wanna start, oh, I'm itchy. I don't wanna start something if I don't think I can like finish it completely and make it really good, I guess, or get, get the most out of it maybe. I don't know, I think it's just more of an obsessive quality probably <laughs> oh well okay from here I want to go into like these shades but I feel like I need something kind of to tie in this more like peachy melony shade to these deeper cooler tone browns so I think I'm gonna add this in just a little bit just kind of dusting it over top of the shade that we already have and then we'll go into these darker shades over here
Is anyone else like that though? You feel like you don't want to start anything unless you're going to be able to do it really well. I don't know. That's kind of weird. All right, we're going to go into grace now right here. It's definitely deepening it up a little bit. Nothing crazy. Okay, now I'm going to dip into stunner. Maybe a little bit of mystic, but I'm not sure on that yet. We'll start with stunner. And I'm going to use this in the outer corner first. Just have it on a sort of small pencil brush and I'm just stamping it on to make sure that we get that depth out there. Okay, then taking Mystic as well. Layering that up. Ooh, that one's dusty for sure. Like when you tap off your brush, a lot comes off. You guys have any Easter plans? I think we're going up to my sister's house for Easter. So today when I go up to her house, we're gonna sit together and plan out dinner a little bit. Which, I don't like cooking, so I'm not that excited for it. But at least I'm doing it with her and she's a little bit, I think, better than I am. Okay, I wanna put the shimmer fling on the lid and then see where we're at. This is so, 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 so pretty. Wowza. Oh my gosh. Do you see this? Beautiful. Wow, I'm in love. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of connect this out here. I think I'm going to layer up some more shimmers on top because this is so pretty. Probably should have done my face makeup second, but oh well. Here we are. It's too late for that. I hate this eye fold. This one looks so much more open and this one looks so closed off. Okay, even though I love that shade with all my heart, I'm gonna try out a couple more just for fun. Vivacious over here in the corner is a little bit more of a plummy version of this shade. We'll pop that more on the inner corner. Oh yes. And I'm loving everything on the eyes today so far. I'm gonna add more. Okay, I'm gonna take this shade Dazzle right here. It looks more gold on camera, but it definitely has like a pinky goldy flip to it. I'm gonna take this actually on a brush. Oh wow, that is soft. Okay, so dip in really softly, and I'm gonna pack this just right on the front inner corner. Just kind of up near the crease. Allie Glines just did this in her latest full face of Nothing New, and I thought it looked really pretty with the shades that she did, so I was like, I'm gonna try that. And it's really nice. It just brings a little bit of like brightness to that part of the eye, if you can see that. So this isn't my inner corner highlight necessarily, but this is just adding a little bit of something else. Opens up the eye a little bit. Just gonna hit my transition shades one more time. I'll just deepen up that outer corner again too. And I think the eyes will be set. Oh, lower lash line. What am I talking about? So pretty. Okay, I'm taking the same transition for our bottom lash line. My coworker just told us this fact that it used to take like 36 hours or something to make one single peep. You know, those little peep candies for Easter? Yeah, like 36 hours to make one. Why did they go through all that effort in the first place? Because they're gross. Now it only takes six minutes and they make enough peeps around Easter to wrap around the world two times. I think that's gross and everyone should stop. Do you like peeps? What's your favorite Easter candy? Every time there's a holiday, my husband and I get the holiday themed Reese's eggs. So for Easter it's eggs and then for Valentine's Day it's hearts and then Christmas it's trees. Those are my favorites. 
for anything. I hate peeps. I don't really like Cadbury eggs because I think they taste like chalk. The chocolate is good, but the outside tastes like chalk. Yeah, I think that's it. I just like the Reese's peanut butter cups. That's all. Because like, even during Christmas, like I don't like minty candies. I feel like peppermint's a big thing for Christmas. I don't really like peppermint. Um, I do like like homemade caramels for Christmas time. I like candy corn around Halloween actually. That's one I do like. My friend, one of my friends is obsessed with candy corn. And at first I was like, eh, I can eat like a little bit of it and then I get sick of it. But she was like, no, eat it with peanuts. Or cash, no, yeah, peanuts. And I was like, what? But if you eat it with peanuts, they're actually so good. So if you've never tried that, I mean, you have to wait till October probably, but you should try it. Okay, I'm gonna stop there on the eyes for now. I'm loving all the like dimension and all that on the lids. I just used the transition shades below the eye and I think that's all we'll do for now. I definitely had some fallout, but I definitely think it's too late to even deal with it. Yeah, I'm kind of out of luck with that. Oh well. Okay, let's go into the butter bronzer today. It's definitely running low, <laughs> but I've been through two of these. I've never really ran through a lot of my makeup products, but this I go through a lot. It's just so good. I'm really packing on the bronzer today. and I really like it. Definitely gonna take this back onto my ears a little bit. And then I'll use that to just add the tiniest bit of color to my nose. That definitely had something on it. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna use my powder brush and kinda dust over this. I think that brush had like a dark brown on it or something. I always sort of fluff my brushes on the back of my hand just to make sure there's no product on it. Oh yeah, there totally is. I just didn't see this one at first, so. But I think that I fixed it a little bit. I'm just gonna leave my nose alone now. But needless to say, this butter bronzer is the best. If you don't have this or have never tried it, you should run out and get one. It's just perfect for everyday bronzing. Plus they make different shades now, so if you're deeper, then you've got options as well. But this is the perfect shade for me. This is just in, oh, this is light bronzer. So yeah, this one's perfect for me. Then they have bronzer and then like deep bronze and all that. That just broke. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. It didn't break, but it just hit an eyeshadow and dug a little corner out of it. Okay, I wanted to try to contour a little bit. I usually don't do this. I just bronze to make sure there's a little bit of depth to the face, but I want to contour today just to try to like sculpt my cheekbones a little bit more. I'm gonna take this cool tone shade right here. More cool tone shades are usually the best at adding a little bit of a shadow. You just want to be careful that you don't overuse the shade right off the bat because otherwise you'll look like you have mud all over your face. So that's why I'm using, I'm using this e.l.f. blush brush because it's little and it's a little bit kind of pinched on the side and tapered so that I get the contour shade exactly where I want it and it's not fluffing all over my face. Here's the brush. This is an e.l.f. complexion brush. So you can see how much bigger and fluffier this one is. This would be for bronzer, and then this will be for my contour. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I really like this palette. However, I only really use um, these two shades and then this light shade up here. I'm just going to tuck this right underneath my bronzer keeping it really low and really compact and tight into one area. But I'm still just keeping it back. I'm not coming in any further than the very edge of my eyebrow. I'd like to bring it in a little further, but because of my dimples when I smile, I feel like it won't look very believable. If I'm trying to create like a hollow right there and then I smile and it bunches up into my dimples, I feel like it will just look really, really makeup-y. So I might bring it in just a tiny bit more, but See where my dimples are? I want to leave it just right kind of to the edge of that. No further in. Otherwise, it's just not going to be 
no one will believe it's my real cheekbone. No one will probably believe that anyway, but I'm trying my best over here. It looks a little bit more chiseled, right? I don't know if you can really see the difference. I will take this just right under my chin here too. If you have a smaller chin already, you're not gonna wanna do this because it's going to minimize your chin and make it look even smaller. But where my chin sticks out quite a bit, I feel like I want to kind of just shave off the bottom a little. So this is adding a shadow up a little higher so that it looks like my chin is smaller. I'm gonna add a tiny bit just to the very top of my forehead. This isn't really to do much other than to make sure that the colors on my face are really like cohesive. Probably won't use that shade and light palette every single day, but it's fun to dip back into it every so often. I'm gonna take my concealer brush and this really, whoa, and this really light shade right here, and I'm gonna use this under the eye, hopefully, to sort of cover up any of the fallout that we had and to brighten it up a little bit. Plus, you can use a powder like this to kind of clean up the edge of your eyeshadow if you drip it down too far or if it's just not the right angle you can use this to kind of clean up the edges a little without having like a super harsh line before blush i'm going to do my highlight so that it doesn't end up looking too stripy on my skin because i'm going to use this wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder this is in the shade blossom glow so this is one of their more light toned ones but it's still kind of pinky so i thought it would look good with this eyeshadow I like to use this ColourPop small fluff brush and really use circular motions to kind of buff it into the skin. I feel like if you spend the time to really buff it in, it looks like it's coming from your skin more than if you just kind of brush it on and forget about it. This is so pretty. I saw a post this morning that said moisturized is the new matte, like people are preferring a dewier skin look over a really dry powdery matte finish. What are you guys preferring? Because I definitely have an oilier skin type, so throughout the day my forehead and my cheeks and nose do get sort of a natural glow from the oil that my skin produces, but I actually think that looks really nice and like healthy. I'd rather have that than like a really powdery finish all day long but what do you guys prefer i really like that look i feel like that's more trendy right now too with this whole glass skin situation and all that i haven't used this blush in forever this is the la girl just blushing blush and just playful i'm not even sure if i like the formula or not i hate the packaging i just feel like this is such an awkward shape when you're trying to dip your brush in luckily mine's small so it fits in okay wow that picks up that picks up a lot of blush i'm really gonna tap that off good and then just kind of start right here press that in Ooh, this is really pretty it's a good shade actually it's definitely one of those shades that's dark enough for me that if i'm not careful could look kind of clowny because it's kind of dark but i really like this now that i have all the powder products for my face on i'm gonna go ahead and set with the flower beauty seal the deal long lasting spread setting spray definitely go a little crazy with that one when the mist is so fine i feel like i can just keep layering it up you know so i go a little crazy Oh, this is so pretty. Skin's looking good. I want to try one of the shadows from the Opalescent palette to highlight my inner corner, but I could end up just using my face highlight on top. I just want to see if any of these will look good. Hmm, there's nothing super light. Let's try Star right here. It's a little bit of a yellowy gold base for the look that I have going on, but I just want to see how it looks. And like I said, we can always layer my face highlight on top. Hmm. Oh, that's surprisingly pretty. Okay, well, I love that. I'm super happy. Gave my camera just a little bit of a break and filled in my eyebrows because that part's boring anyway. I'm a disaster.
asked her today what's going on with me. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, so here's the situation. So for my brows for a long time, I've been using the NYX brow pencil and meh, and then I found this L'Oreal brow stylist definer and I've used this in a couple video videos and loved it. I feel like it stays on a lot better and it's just really nice. But I linked this in a video as the cover girl like define and something line and define brow pencil on accident one time. And so I ran out of this, so I went to the store and I was like, crap, what is that brow pencil called? I could not remember. So then I was like, oh yeah, I tagged it in a video. So I'll just go get the one that's in the video. Well, I accidentally had this one tagged in the video and they're very, very similar looking. So I thought that this was it. I saw this at the store and I was like, oh, maybe they just repackaged it so it looks a little bit different, but this is the one that I linked in the video. So this must be the brow pencil that I was using before. So I picked this one up instead and it's nice. I do like it. I feel like they are very similar. This one's just a little bit of a lighter shade than the one before, which I actually think is really nice, especially for going into spring. So yeah, I have this one on accident. So I guess this is new and this isn't a full face of nothing new today. So I'm really sorry for lying to you, but I lied to myself too, you know? I did not mean to do this to either of us, so I'm very sorry. I love these silky eye pens from Pixi. This is in Black Cocoa, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna use this to kind of line my upper lash line and smoke it out a little bit. I just decided I wanted to do that, so I'm just gonna really kind of sloppily line the outer half of my eye here. And it doesn't have to look perfect because we're gonna go in and kind of smudge it out with a brush. So I like to go about two thirds of the way in and then I'm just gonna take a small angled brush and start kind of flicking and moving that product around, getting it kind of smoked out there. Turns out these dry pretty quick, so I probably should have just done one at a time. Good to know for next time, right? I think that added some nice depth though. I'm gonna put on my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara now, and then I might touch up the liner a little more, just depending on how it looks once I have the mascara on, and then we'll be right back. Put on lips and finish up. All right, mascara's on. I cleaned the foundation off my lips and just put on a little bit of lip balm. And now I want to go into some little lip products and then we'll be all finished. I feel like with a look like this, I have to do a nude, but I'm layering a couple different things on. So hopefully it's still fun and interesting. One of these days I need to do a look that's not just nude lips. Like focus on the lip color first. I have this really bright, guys. I got this Maybelline lipstick in Fuchsia for me. Look how freaking pretty. It's kind of coming off more like coral on camera, I think. Well, at least on my monitor. But it's like more like pinky fuchsia, like a blue toned pink. I feel like for spring, it'd be so pretty with just like really dewy skin and like nothing on the eyes. Maybe a little bit of liner and, um, and mascara and that's it. So maybe we'll have to do that in the near future. But for today, it's nude. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner. This is in Bare to Comment. I always overline my lips just slightly because when my lips are closed, you can see they kind of droop. You can see the top line kind of droops down right there. I like to just straighten that whole part out a little bit. If I do it too much, it looks really obvious, but I try to just do it a little so that it's a little bit more like lifted on these little corners. Like that, that's the goal. These are really nice lip liners too. They're really creamy, so it can be a little easy to go overboard. So you kinda gotta be careful and just work really softly and slowly, but they're really nice. They have great color payoff and they last pretty long too without bleeding for how creamy they are. The lipstick I'm gonna go in with is not one that I've shown on my channel before. It's a NARS lipstick. Pretty much all of NARS's products I think are super quality and a lot of them just don't get talked about that much. But the, this is just their, 
I'm not sure. This is just their bullet lipstick. It's got sort of a satiny, like dewy finish, I guess. This is in Rose Cliff, whatever that means. These are super creamy and comfortable. They're not like opaque, like one swipe and you've got all this pigment on, but I feel like that helps them to wear off a lot more natural and just look a lot more natural on your lips. And then I want to use this Rimmel Lip Gloss. This is the Stay Glossy Gloss in Dorchester Rose. This is just a really light kind of pinky gloss. It smells so bad. I don't think I featured this on my channel either, but I really like these. They just stink. It smells like, oh, you know what? It smells like those plastic, like rubbery toys. But when you get that like silicone-y feeling like rubber balls and stuff, and then it gets on your hands and your hands smell like rubbery or something, it stinks. But I love the gloss look. Oh, I feel like these eyeshadows make my lids look glossy almost too. And the way that I like layered the lighter one sort of up in that region up there, I feel like that really helped it to look even more glossy and glowy. This was such a fun video to film. I feel like it took the pressure off. Since I don't have a ton of subscribers or anything, I'm always struggling to keep up kind of. And I wanna have the newest things to review because I feel like those videos are really popular. But all those people who are doing the big reviews all the time, they're getting free makeup for the most part. <laughs> And I'm not making any money from this, so I can't just, you know, buy all the new makeup to test out in every single new video. So this took the stress off of me quite a bit, and I just got to play around with the things that I have and feel happy with my makeup collection. I'm lucky to have as much makeup as I do, and I hope that you guys feel the same way, that you never feel overwhelmed by all the new things that are coming out all the time or feel like you have to buy every single new thing that comes out. So, so hopefully you enjoyed watching this video today. I had a really fun time filming it and playing with some of my old products. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!